guys, it's Kimber from The Pinning Mama. I am so excited because today we are going to talk all about how to make this absolutely adorable polka dot um, state cut file that you can use um, to make a vinyl decal for a car or a water bottle or um, you could use for scrapbooking or whatever you want. Um, we are doing this as a part of um, our Silhouette Boot Camp learning about the crop tools. So if you haven't visited the boot camp, make sure to do that and you can um, learn all sorts of little mini lessons on how all the tools in Silhouette Studio work to help you understand the software better and to be able to design um, amazingly beautiful things all by yourself. Um, so anyways, to get started, we are going to um, open up the polka dot cut file. Now I have this cut file free on my blog so you can just download it or you can make your own um, using the ellipse tool and um, the duplicate button. Um, but it's super easy to just grab mine so go ahead and, and pop on over to my blog The Pinning Mama and download it and you can open it right up in Silhouette Studio as a cut file. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is to um, open the file and then second we are going to draw our state. Now I use the sting bat font which gives me um, one state for every letter so it makes it really easy to use for whatever your state you need and um, it's just called oops, state face so I'm going to select that. Um, Texas happens to be Q. I know that right away, so I'm just going to type in a Q, and um, Texas popped up. So then I'm going to resize this so that it's bigger, and we can work with it more easily. Let's see. Turn this out just a tad more, and then it looks like we're good to go. Okay. So, well, actually, I'm going to make this a tad smaller. Okay. So when we talk about the shape, uh, the state shape, we are going to need three different layers of that state. If you go back and look, we're going to need one of this pink offset layer of the state. We're going to need one white Texas and then we are going to need one layer of the black polka dot. So that's three Texas layers. So the first thing I'm going to do is once I have the perfect size that I want to go off of, um, I am going to duplicate that Texas by right clicking and hitting duplicate. And I'm just going to drag this over here for now. Um, and then we'll come back over here. Okay, so now that we've done that, we said that we are going to do this using the crop tool. And the crop tool is um, such an amazing tool because it makes really cool things um, super easy to do. So what I'm going to do with the crop tool is I want to crop um, these polka dots into the shape of my Texas. So I'm going to make sure that I select my polka dots and my Texas. Let's make sure that's selected. Okay, it should all be selected now. And then... Let's see, modify window is right here with the M on it. I click that and then I click crop. I did not select it, I unselected it. Okay, see that happens to the best of us. Now let's see, if I select my Texas first, then I will be able to tell it's selected. And then I can hold down my shift key and select my polka dots. Now I can hit crop and you'll see that it cropped my polka dots into the shape of my Texas. The next thing I want to do, and it's easy, um, the most easy to do if you do it right away since everything is still selected, is right click on this and group it together so that we don't leave any of those tiny little pieces or dots um, as we piece everything back together. So this right here, um, I'm going to turn on my grid so that you can see is actually transparent. So it looked kind of white, but it's not. It's just transparent. So this layer you would cut um, on your black vinyl. And then um, we're also going to need to cut the white layer to go behind it. So this one right here, I'll show you. Um, I'll fill this in with white so that you can see. Let me line it up a little bit better. Perfect. Okay, so this layer, 
um, we're going to fill in with white and then I'm going to right click and send to the back. So it's gonna look like that. The next step is that we want to create the offset text. So that's still selected. So we are now going to use our offset window. Click offset. And I think I made mine a little bit bigger. So by default, it's um, 0.125 of an inch. Um, and I think I made mine a quarter of an inch. So 0.25. And then you can see the outline that pops up and that looks just about right to me. That's gonna be our third layer. I'm gonna fill that in. Whoa, that's a little bit too much. Let's go back, it got bigger. <coughs> I'm gonna change that offset back. Okay, there we go. Um, so I'm going to fill this in with my pink. Let's see which one did I use? I think I might have used that one right there. Um, and that's perfect. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is add on my flower cut files. So you will need um, flower cut files for those. And the ones that I used, um, hold on real quick, let's bring them in. Uh, are they? So these flowers right here I used, I got out of the Hungry JPEG bundle. Um, maybe from October, I think, the October bundle. There we go, and we put that right there. And I actually think I made my fill match this. There we go, much better. Okay, and that is it. That is how we make our um, Polka Dot Texas State um, cut file with the crop tool. So again, three layers. Um, when you cut this, you'll cut it separately. The um, background layer, You'll cut a white Texas, you'll cut the black polka dot Texas, and then you'll cut the flowers separately or multiple layers of the flowers separately, however you choose to do it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them on my blog post. Make sure you go check it out for um, extra details and kind of a step-by-step -step walkthrough on um, how to make this as well as um, you can leave the questions right here on YouTube. If you have anything else you'd like me to go over on YouTube, go ahead and leave that there as well. And um, I guess I will see y'all next time. Uh, until then, thanks and have a great day.